Welcome everyone to an historic day for the Port Adelaide Football Club as we welcome Erin Phillips who is committed to be our first AFLW player signing. Erin returns to Alberton as arguably the most decorated player in the AFLW competition. Since 2017, Erin has twice been crowned the best and fairest in the AFLW, won three premierships including two best on ground performances in grand finals and has been awarded three All-Australian Blazers. And that doesn't include her remarkable basketball career in the WNBL, WNBA and as a gold medal winner for the Opals at the World Championships and the Commonwealth Games. Erin is an extraordinary athlete. She's a pioneer for women's sport and an inspiring trailblazer for a new generation of female athletes and sports fans. Most importantly, she is a great leader and a wonderful person. Erin, of course, grew up watching her father, Greg, as he became a 343-game, eight-time Premiership legend for Port Adelaide. We welcome Erin back home to create her own story here at Port Adelaide as we establish an AFLW program striving for sustained success. We're thrilled to welcome Erin, Tracy, her children, Brooklyn, Blake and Drew. So it's a real pleasure to have you here, Erin. I'll hand over to you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, wow, what a, an honour it is to be back at Alberton. Um, so many memories here of uh, a little kid um, jumping the fence at every opportunity that I could to get on the oval and kick the footy or stick my head in Jack Cale's huddle to, uh, <laughs> to hear his uh, fired up speech, uh, which got me fired up. Um, first and foremost, I'd like to thank uh, the Adelaide Football Club for the past six years. It's been an amazing experience. Um, some of my greatest years are at that club and um, I know coming across in 2017 with a very young family, um, they took care of us and I've got some lifelong friends there and to be able to be a part of a wonderful club and to have achieved the success that um, we did and we have has, has been an absolute privilege. So. Thank you to the Adelaide Football Club, the fans, the members, um, yeah, those memories and, and experiences I'll, I'll never ever forget. Um, I'm really excited. Um, this is honestly a dream come true to be able to say that I play for the Port Adelaide Football Club. It's something that I've wanted to do my whole life, uh, ever since I could walk and talk. Um, I wanted to be like my dad and um, play for Port Adelaide and you know even though I didn't get the opportunity straight away and had a wonderful opportunity with the Crows um, to be to be back here um, at a place that I call home with such amazing history just walking across here um, just gives me goosebumps um, uh, wearing these colours so um, I'm so so proud to be a part of the Port Adelaide Football Club um, and I hope that you know, I can um, give this club everything that I can and, and hopefully, you know, achieve some great success in the future. Thank you. So, Aaron, seven years ago you signed, but there wasn't a team to play for. That was probably the easiest decision you could make. What was it like the second time around, though? It was incredibly difficult, honestly. Um, you know, it was one that I went back and forth so many times. Um, even though I was a young Port girl who went across and played with a team that I never imagined that I'd think I'd ever play for, you know, the, the rival team to a team that you you, you grew up with. But um, it's a team that I've absolutely f fallen in love with, and my teammates, um, the people in that club. So it wasn't, it wasn't easy um, to say goodbye and, and to take on another challenge, and which I'm really excited about. I feel um, being a part of this incredible new team um, is something that I'm really looking forward to, the challenges that brings. It's something completely different. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. So when did you know it was the right decision for you? Honestly, it was probably about Sunday morning, um, and I... You know, I've been waking up um, a lot of mornings going, oh, should I, shouldn't I, what, what's the right decision? I had so many great conversations with um, close people in my life, midnight calls with my dad on night, on night shift, and 
you know, I just, on, on that morning, it just, it felt right. And um, like I said, it's something that I'm, I'm really excited about. And it literally has been a dream come true to, you know, finally, you know, being able to get this opportunity, which is something I've, you know, really wanted my whole life. So your father made a lot of history here. You made a lot of history in so many different places. So what do you want to do here at Port Adelaide? Look, it's, it's really, my dad's legacy here is incredible, but I want to make now my own legacy at this club. And, um, you know, it's, it's exciting to be a part of the first, you know, Port Adelaide women's side. And, and I want to contribute, like I said, as much as I can on the field and off the field to help this team, um, you know, achieve success. And um, I'll do whatever it takes. Um, same as what I did at the Adelaide Football Club and, and put all my energy into, you know, what's probably going to be a really young, young side with fantastic South Australian talent here and, and help them, you know, achieve their goals and to become professional athletes. Do you lure anyone else across? <laughs> I haven't spoken not, to not only from Adelaide but from other clubs? Yeah, look, I haven't um, spoken to other players uh, about what they, they're doing. Um, uh, now that obviously I've, I've signed and it's public and yeah, I'll be having some, some chats and but I think the, the exciting part is is that there is a lot of young talent here in this state and we saw that in the just recently with um, beating Victoria. Um, so women's football in this state is so incredibly lucky with the talent that's coming through and that's one thing that's really excited me about coming across here is being a part of something to develop those, those younger players. Does a new start get something more out of you? Does a what, sorry? A new start, a new, whole new adventure get something extra from you because it's been a long journey so far in all sport. <laughs> yeah. Is, is there something new energy for you as well now? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I, I always said I still wanted to play if, if I'm passionate about playing, if I still enjoy it, if my body's still good and if I can perform at a level where, you know, that I'm still capable of playing it in this league. and. Um, I'm so excited. You know, it's, um, the season might be starting sooner than later, so I won't have to wait wait too much longer. But yeah, look, I'm like I said, so just so wrapped in um, the, the the thought of wearing these colours. Um, really, really exciting. It's crystal ball because you still don't know who's in your team with you. But what do you think's possible early up for Port Adelaide? Uh, from a roster point of view, or even from on field, what can you achieve there? Um, look, I think. It's realistic, the, the inaugural year. I haven't spoken to Juliet about lists or, you know, even with Lauren Harnell about the, the list. But I think, you know, we want to be competitive, absolutely. Um, and like I said, there's going to be a, a lot of young players. I'll probably, um, my age will differ the average age of this <laughs> team. So <laughs> uh, but that's okay. Um, but you know, I, I'm just going to do whatever I can to, to help these players get to a point where that they can be elite athletes and, and perform and, and get the best out of themselves and um, you know similar to what you know I felt like I did at the Crows in their first um, couple of years and, and then hopefully get to a point where that just becomes you know natural and second nature for them. Every day off of you, are they going to put you on a heap of one year contracts? What's, what's Juliet put in front of you? Oh, when you ask. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, look, we've um, yeah certainly a, a longer term agreement because we'd like to have Erin involved at the club beyond her playing career. Um, so we'll, as long as she can play, we'd love to have her playing. Um, but certainly we'd love to have her in, involved in the club beyond her playing career as well. Have you spoken to Chelsea, Randall? How difficult was that? Yeah, it was really, really difficult. Um, she's up like Chelsea style, camping and adventuring out in the wild at the moment. And yeah, it was... It was really, really difficult. Obviously, she means so much to me and um, she's one of my best mates and so to, you know, to, to call her up and, and break the news that, you know, I'm not going to see her at trainings and at games, but I'll still see her on a Saturday morning at the dog park with our dogs. <laughs> um, yeah, we, it was, it's been really hard. Um, I think, you know, she, she was so supportive, you know, typical Chelsea um, to support her teammates and, um, but I've made lifelong friendships and no matter what happens, no matter now that I've signed here, um, those friendships, you know, they last forever. You've become a bit of a test case now to see how great the rivalry is for the, the, the women's game. We know that if a, 
bloke went the other way, the fans had hated him. What are you expecting from the, the Crows fans when you meet again? Yeah, look, uh, I'm not sure. I mean, look, uh, it's, it's going to be fantastic um, to have the first ever AFLW showdown with the Crows in port and something I'm really excited to be involved in. Um, I know the, even the girls and the Crows will be really excited. Um, it'll be a great rivalry and um, the very first one will be, you know, really special. Surely you've done enough to remain in their good books. Yeah, <laughs> well, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Aaron, you did the uh, success that obviously the Crows had this year. I know it's early days, but is I guess the idea and, and focus is to knock the Crows off the top? <laughs> Um, it's to knock anybody um, <laughs> you, to, to win every you know to win as much as possible. So it doesn't matter who you who you play. Look, it's obviously when I do um, play against uh, the Crows, no doubt it's going to be hard. Um, but you know I've I've been a professional athlete for a long time. I've played against older you know past teams, but none as close as what I am to obviously the Crows. But you know, I'm assuming it'll be on both sides, you know, we'll be out there trying to compete. That's what I love about um, the Crows team is that, you know, that every week it doesn't matter who we're playing, we compete. So, and similar here, we're going to, you know, have that same mentality at Port Adelaide. It doesn't matter who we play, we're going to compete and we're going to try our best to win. Do you know if this is the first time that a father and daughter have played for the same football club? It is? Okay. Yeah. Uh, is it, is it? No, I, don't I don't know. I don't know. I thought you were telling me. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm assuming it is. Uh, um, I think, um, is it Western Bulldogs one? I think it was. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yep. So, maybe in South Australia. There you go. Aaron, what did your dad say? What was his reaction when you told him? Yeah, my dad was has been wonderful throughout this process, as my whole family has been. And, um, you know, he, he told me that there was no really wrong decision and I've got to make the decision what's best you know for me and and things that I want to do in the future um, but you know like I said I had a lot of midnight phone calls with him and he's just been so proud he's you know you know after the second game after the first game in the second game of the AFLW you know Greg Phillips wore a crow's polo you know that's how <laughs> proud he is of me and all of his um, family so you know he's he's really wrapped and, and more wrapped in the fact that I've you know, just made the decision, and so then I can now just finally put my head down and, and get to work. Erin, how would you probably summarise your exit from the Crows? Uh, do you feel like you're leaving on a, obviously, the success this year, but do you feel like you're leaving at the right time? Yeah, look, I think um, I'm really proud of, of what I've been able to be a part of for six years at the, at the Crows and the success that we've had and, like I said, the friendships and, you know, the growth of, of women's sport in this state has just been phenomenal and to, to feel like I've played a small role in that is, is incredible. So I, I feel good in the fact that I've, I feel like I've left the LA Football Club in a fantastic space. Um, you, know, they're, you know, I expect great success for them as well in the future and um, like I said, there's friendships there that I'm going to have for a lifetime that won't ever end. So. Um, you know, it, although it was really difficult, obviously having that chat with Matthew Clark, Phil Harper, um, Chelsea, um, I, I did feel, you know, good that I've I've been able to contribute to that club and, and give it all that I have in those six years. Aaron, I don't want to uh, put you in the retirement phase too quickly, but coaching wise, what do you what do you want to do there? Do you want to look more AFLW or AFL? Which is the one that's more passionate for you at the moment when you go um, down the coaching path? Look, I haven't really thought too much um, just about the coaching path. I think number one is I want to keep playing. Um, and like I said, as long as I can physically play and perform to a level where I can contribute um, and still love it, I'll play as long as I can. Um, you know, I'm, I'm really, really keen to learn from Juliet um, and obviously the legend Rachel Spawn as well. Um, was one of my heroes growing up so you know from a whole footy aspect there's a lot of different things I'd like to learn across the board and then almost figure out life after being an athlete but yeah I haven't really got to that point just yet I'm still loving being able to play. Have you spoken to Lauren Arnell yet? Yeah. What has she said and what do you think of her appointment? Yeah I think it's absolutely fantastic appointment and I had some really great chats with Lauren and um, she's an ultimate professional and she's going to bring a wealth of knowledge to this, this club and uh, a passion for female footy as well and um, 
I think we're we're pretty similar, for like Lauren and I, and you know we we you know we get excited to see uh, younger players perform and um, compete, and so I think yeah, it's going to be fantastic. I haven't seen her in person mm -hmm. yet because COVID week. and moving <laughs> down here, so. Yeah, it's going to be it's going to be fantastic to obviously learn from her as well. Julian, how's the sales pitch going when you can say we've got Erin Phillips at Port Adelaide? You should come along as well. Yeah, it helps. <laughs> 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 no, we've been having a lot of great conversations with a lot of players from from here in Adelaide and across the competition. So, um, yeah, it certainly makes a difference, I think, to to have someone of Erin's calibre coming to the club. But um, yeah, we look forward to all of that playing out in the next few weeks. Julian, does this certainly put the competition on, on notice that? Uh, the very first AFLW player signing is arguably the most decorated player in AFLW. <laughs> yeah, well, it probably does. <laughs> no, it's um, it's a really exciting day for the club. Um, I think everyone's just wrapped to finally have Erin here. I think when we first were given the licence um, just recently, I think every Port Adelaide person was thinking, when can we get Erin Phillips? So uh, it's really exciting that we're here today and celebrating that. And just in a pure footy sense, how big a task is it for not just Port but the other start-up clubs to to actually get to the level where the Crows and Brisbane's are at the moment? Yeah, great question. I think obviously it's it's difficult just because you're, you know, this, this uh, league has been around now for, for six seasons. It's going to its seventh, so obviously there's going to be some uh, growing pains and, um, you know, there's got to be stages of development. And um, But I think the, the exciting part is, you know, with this football club has got everybody's been invested in, in doing whatever it takes to, to get their players to you know fast track and to be able to um, put on a put a team on the field that's going to compete hard and um, play the Port Adelaide way um, so look at it's exciting and obviously it's no it's not going to be easy it wasn't easy in the first year of, of the Crows um, figuring things out um, you know but I, I do know with that the support behind this club and the, the complete investment, the facilities um, that have been built here, um, the development that's going to happen, there's everything behind this club um, to, to develop and to, to compete as, as well as possible. Do you know when season seven is going to start? There's a, a bit of frustration. I was going to ask you, Liz. <laughs> <laughs> there's a bit of frustration coming from players now yeah. as to when it's going to start. Yeah. Where do you sit on it? Yeah, obviously, we'd love a, a start date. ASAP, and I'm sure you know, would be good. Julia would love it too, and um, but I think that's something that's a bit of an uncontrollable at the moment. Hopefully, it's not too too far in the future that we'll get a, a start date, and but it is probably looking like August. I'm assuming we're just looking towards that um, August 27 as a start date, and then really, you know, pre-season ten and a half weeks before that. So looking at June long weekend, just after June long weekend, starting our pre-season. So it's not far away. So we've got some work to do in the next few weeks, but it's going to be super exciting when we start getting all the players through the club and can get on the track. Um, can you uh, just give an insight I heard this morning into the player number you'll be wearing? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I've chosen to wear number 22, and you know, clearly it's because of Charlie Dixon. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, obviously him and uh, obviously that number's um, really special to me and um, it'd be a real honour to, to wear it um, after obviously Dad wore it proudly for, for this club and um, I thought about 13 but for me the number 13 belongs to the Adelaide Crows and that's something I wanted to, to leave there and have that tied um, with the history there. So when you told your, your dad that you were going to wear his number, essentially, <laughs> yeah. what was his reaction? Uh, I think he said he's better looking in it than <laughs> I am. So, no, he's obviously he's so proud and, um, you know, it would be, be good to see um, see Dad back up in the stands with the, uh, with the port colours again. So um, he's just proud no matter, no matter what I chose or decided. Would so you like to certainly create a, a different... Phillips legacy on that number now? Uh, yeah, look, eight premierships, I think he won in <laughs> Fort Adelaide. So, look, I think I'm really, yeah, I'm really keen. And uh, although I'm strongly tied to this club and, uh, like I said, a club that I was born into, there is definitely a legacy, a different legacy that I want to leave here at this club when I'm, when I'm done here. And, um, yeah, like, I'm really proud, obviously, that like, it's Dad's, you know, legacy here, but... It's something that I want to 
create differently for myself as well. So does that exclude you from the captaincy or is it every Port Adelaide AFLW captain now going to wear 22? Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, look, um, I think that obviously no matter what happens, Aaron is always going to be a great leader at this club, but um, the culture that we're building, we really want to include the, the players in the, they'll have the players' voice to be able to um, choose their leaders as well. Um, no doubt um, Aaron will feature in that, I'm sure, but yeah, we want to do it, do it that way really and not just appoint a captain. So. Thank you very much.